Hi guys, for today's video, we're doing episode two of Create This Book. This is not Create This Book. Create This Book, Ugh, no. Create This, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Wreck This Journal. Hi guys, for today's video, we're doing episode two of Wreck This Journal. Finally said it right, okay. That was a mess. I think we can get started on the pages now. Um. I don't have anything else to say. Okay, we're opening up our Wreck This Journal, and I'm flipping to the page that says Scribble wildly, violently, with reckless abandon. For this page, I decided to take out my rainbow fine liner pens. I have all different colors, there they are. And you can see this page is actually already scribbled on. That is because this book actually belonged to my sister Alina previously, and she never completed it. I added in those white papers because I realized I was getting it on the other pages. Anyway, so I'm just scribbling pretty violently, I'd say. Pretty recklessly, not really having a rhyme or reason, except for this purple. I kind of went in a very specific pattern. But this, look at this blue, that's a mess. I just did random things there. And for the yellow, you couldn't really see it. I have to say, this prompt really challenged me as a perfectionist. I hate doing random things that don't make sense. I kind of liked the way it started to look, and then I did this. That. No. No, 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 no. No. See, this was my mistake. I was trying to really embrace the recklessness of this prompt. However, I am not a reckless person. I don't appreciate randomness, so I think I made myself hate this page. I did follow the prompt. Guys, I did it. And I don't like it. I'm so sorry. I hope you like it, though. We move from low lows to high highs. We are doing the do some rubbings with a pencil page, and I really enjoyed this prompt, so I decided to use a pencil, of course. Whenever I do faces and characters, I like to start with the eyes and then do the eyebrows. I am not someone that's like trained in art or anything like that. It's just what comes natural to me is to do the eyes first. I don't know if that's how you're quote unquote supposed to do it, but that's the way I do it. I think that's the best explanation I can come up with. As for the do something with pencil rubbings part of this prompt, you can see that I used my finger every once in a while and kind of rub the page to create a shading and shadows effect. So every time I'm rubbing the page, it's because I'm trying to blend in the pencils. And I'm also following the prompt. So right here, you can see I'm creating shading for the forehead and the top of the hair and then rubbing it. And I also take my eraser and then go back into the hair and create more highlights. Moving on to the lips. The mouth is half open, half closed. Is she about to say something? Is she not? We don't know. Keep him guessing, you know? What is wrong with you? I created a shade, sh shadowing, a shading. Wallet, watch, waffles. What am I saying? I redrew the jawline because originally I had it a little bit too wide, I felt like. And then I added shading to the sides of the face. Basically, the highest point of your face should probably be like the T-zone and your nose. And then of course, once I was done, I rubbed it in. Up next is the shading for the neck. So I made sure to have shading underneath the chin area because your, your face is making a shadow there. So let's talk about the hair. The hair, I actually quite enjoyed. So I outlined each individual lock. Lock of hair. I don't like that word. Lock? A lock of hair? It sounds correct, but it doesn't feel right, you know? Does anyone say that? How do you refer to a group of hair? I'm getting upset. I don't like that word. Someone give me a different word. Concentrate. Come on. Nothing. Okay, back to the video. So I made the hair look like it was blowing in the wind. It did take a bunch of time to rub each individual lock of hair and my finger kind of hurt by the end. And then I also added some like highlights with the eraser. I added some eyelashes to the eyes and then of course created a little bit more of a highlight with the eraser. I did add some shading to the top parts of the eyes and these are some earrings that I added for her and I added a little line for her chin. And this is the final thing. I actually really love this page. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Like I said, I don't really think of myself as someone who draws faces, but maybe that is changing. I did have a lot of fun doing this one. Up next, I'm going to be doing the cover this page in tape, create some kind of pattern with it. 
So I have some washi tape from my 100 Days of Art series that I do on my channel. Every Tuesday I upload a speed paint and I use these washi tapes kind of like outline the page. So I figured let me cover my entire Rectus Journal page with these washi tapes. These are actually two of my favorite washi tapes. I know, groundbreaking news. Ow, I just made a weird whistling noise with my tongue. What are you doing? I enjoy washi tapes that have a little bit of a metallic color to them. I picked two washi tapes because I felt like one is just boring. Why not just pick two, you know? Let's do all of them. And they kind of match a little bit. Here you can see I'm cutting out a perfect triangle. And once that was done, I cut off the excess washi tape. And then I actually brought out this metallic gold paint. I have never used this before. It's brand new. It would not open. I tried several times to peel off this metal thing. It wouldn't come off, so I had to stab it. And it's actually, it looks quite nice. When I painted it on, it's a little bit transparent, so I did have to put a couple of coats. It did end up looking pretty shiny and pretty nice, I have to say. I don't know if having two coats of metallic paint is typical, but I mean, it looks pretty nice. I also re-outlined those two boxes and I actually really enjoyed this page. I know it's quite simple, but I think I like the way it looks. I love the colors. I like how it brings everything together. I like how it's metallic and shiny. And now I have my favorite washi tapes forever memorialized in my Reckless Journal. On to the next page. We're doing float this page. Float this page is actually right next to my favorite page. So I really wanted to make sure nothing was going to bleed through and ruin that other page. So that's why I took out my printer paper and copied over the design exactly to that. For this, I went to the community page. We voted for a dog in a bikini on vacation. For this page, I will be drawing a dog in a bathing suit on vacation. Of course, when I think of a dog, I think of my own dog, Maurice, the squishy that I made. He's a mint dog with some paint on him. He also has an ice cream cone that's made out of paint. You can see here, I'm starting off with a greenish color, and then I actually went back in with a light blue color and covered over that light green to create a mint color. Oh, I tried to make the bow here. I didn't like the bow, so I just erased it. I added in the pupils for the eyes. I used my fine liners to color the rainbow iris. So here you can see I'm coloring in what looks like a donut. But do not worry, Maurice will still have some form of his ice cream cone. After I fully colored in the donut floaty, I added some shading, and I actually really like the way the shading came out right here. Ooh, nice. I also colored in his tail and his stomach with the mint color and then added the paint splats. Moving on to the drippy paint that is around this donut looking floaty toy. I just filled in all the random paint spots. This is kind of like the ice cream cone that goes with Maurice, so I was modeling it after that. I also made sure to take a darker tan color and create that grid stripe kind of checkered thing that is on his cone, his ice cream cone. I colored the bathing suit pink because pink and green are kind of opposites, I don't know. And then I did the water, you can see it ran out of ink. So I switched to a darker blue and that one, wait for it, ran out of ink. So then I switched to another dark blue and that one did not run out of ink. Huh. I was shocked how quickly all of these markers ran out of ink. Cause you guys, if you follow my channel, you know I kind of just purchased these markers. I did color over with blue very lightly parts of Maurice. So like his legs, parts of the paint, parts of his tail, so that it would really look like Maurice was floating in the water. My idea behind this was to make Maurice and the whole thing a floaty toy, like a blow up floaty toy. Get it? Cause you're supposed to float this page. And I, I drew a floaty toy that goes in the, the pool. Like like a pool floaty. <laughs> okay, anyway, so to make it look more like this was a floaty blow up toy for a pool, I took my white gel pen and added a bunch of highlights. And I mean a bunch. Like I added highlights all over Maurice, all over his face, his ears, places that you wouldn't normally have highlights if this were a normal dog. This is in fact not a normal dog. He's a floaty pool toy. Did I say that enough? This is what the final thing ended up looking like. I know it looks a little strange because Maurice looks like he's an actual balloon, 
but just know that was what I was going for. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see my first Reckless Journal video, click the box on the bottom left. If you'd like to see my Create This Book videos, click the box on the bottom right, and I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to episode two of Create This 